Adidas is one of those brands which seems to keep surprising you. From their early inception, they've managed to keep on releasing sneakers which have in time turned into some of the biggest classics there are. I'm here talking about the Stan Smith, the Gazelle, the Superstar and many more. And even when you look at today, I mean the Ultra Boost and the NMD which helped Adidas climb the ladder to become the second biggest shoe company in the US are also on their way to becoming Adidas classics in and of themselves. But today we are going to talk about an Adidas classic that most people seem to have forgotten and maybe not even heard of. I certainly did not know about this shoe until I was told about it. And the shoe I'm referring to here is the Adidas City Line. In case you never heard of this particular sneaker line, the City Series were a particular line of sneakers that Adidas released modeled and named after a specific city in Europe. Seeing its first release in the late 70s and throughout the 80s, this sneaker line contained 24 different releases named after 24 different cities in Europe, like the Hamburg, the Stockholm, the Dublin and so on, which each of them having been modeled after the Adidas Gazelle. But what made the city shoes interesting was that each of them represented a different city in Europe, not only in name, but each of the shoes had a different color that were in line with that particular city and country. And to make sure that each model felt special, they even went as far as to have some unique modifications done to them, like different type of soles, toe shapes and so on. The sales of the City Series started out slow and it kept being slow until the 1984 Summer Olympics which were held in Los Angeles. Adidas managed to secure a bunch of track athletes to represent their city line sneaker, but instead of making the shoes carry the name of a city, Adidas actually customized their running shoes to have their runner's name placed with a golden finish where the name of the city usually was. After many of the Adidas track athletes managed to secure a bunch of gold medals, Adidas began to advertise with the slogan, the Olympic Pace Setters, since they claimed that they were the brand to win most gold medals and that the secret lied in that they made the right shoes for the right occasions. This campaign helped skyrocket the popularity of the shoe and helped establish it as the classic that it is today. Another factor which solidified its status as an Adidas classic was the rise of football casuals in the UK. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about what casual football culture is, but to make it short, it's a culture based around the spirit of going to games and also representing your city, and it is also a fashion movement. And this part is interesting and important because this was the part that actually made the City Line sneaker an extremely popular shoe in the UK. These factors and many more is the reason why the City Line sneaker dominated throughout Europe and also in the States where it saw release, but instead of European cities, they had American city names on them. This interest for the City Line sneakers kept going into the 90s and also into the 2000s where it has since slowed down, but Adidas had made sure to partner up with specific retailers like Size in the UK to make sure that the shoe doesn't fall out, and there has in recent years been seen different releases of the old time classics like the Adidas Dublin in 03, Adidas Copenhagen in 09, the Adidas London in 2010 and many more. So if you really want to own a unique sneaker, I would say that a sneaker of the City Line series would be a great choice. Now let's move on to talking about the shoe themselves and I think what immediately catches your eye when talking about the City Line is that it is in fact a modified version of the Adidas Gazelle model from the 60s. Now this doesn't necessarily make it a bad shoe since the Gazelle model is a perfect example of what German shoe engineering is capable of and I think that if you can improve on something that is already amazing, I don't see why you shouldn't. The shoe comes with a suede upper with the iconic three stripes on the side alongside a flash finish which spells a specific name of a city in Europe. It also features a durable gum outsole to finish it off. I mentioned before that one of the things that makes this shoe interesting is not only the Gazelle silhouette but the various modifications that this shoe has seen. Depending on what city model of shoe you have chosen you get different colors which have some unique design details done to them. But the variations on this shoe doesn't just stop at the color, no, it actually extends to the sole and suede upper as well. Some models will have a fine clean suede upper while others will have a more plushy suede and the sole also varies from the original gum sole to a more traditional rubber sole on some models. I'm not exactly sure why this is the case but nevertheless I think it's very interesting to see Adidas go all this way to make sure that each model is unique not only in name, but in the overall shoe as well. 
It's also a very interesting concept because if you've ever been to Europe, you can tell that all the major European cities are very different from each other. And that goes for everything like music and food to art and architecture. There's also just something really awesome about seeing your city's name on a shoe. And if the shoe is also repping the colors of your country like we see with the Stockholm pair, it's no wonder that this shoe became the classic that it is today. And now we're at my favorite part in the video where I get to give out my own opinion on the City Line sneakers and honestly, I don't think they're for me. Now, not saying that I hate them, but the Adidas style of the 80s don't really resonate with me. And this is purely an Adidas thing, because I love the Air Jordan 1s, which are an 80s shoe. But the simple look of the Adidas shoe from the 80s are just not my style. I just think they are way too simplistic. Now, the good thing about simplicity is that you can dress it up with everything, but I like my shoes with a little bit more going on, and this is just, and this is just my opinion. Now this does not mean that I can't appreciate what the city lines did and that I can't appreciate a clear example of what the people at Adidas are capable of and that is creating a durable and comfortable shoe that when sprinkled with a little bit of German imagination is able to capture the essence of a whole decade. That's all I have for now, I hope you guys liked the video and please let me know what you think and also subscribe if you want to see more and also tell me which specific city line shoe you own or wish to own down in the comments. I'm Sneaker Clef and I'll see you in the next video.